We have TriPointLive.com. Remember, that's the address, the web address. After close of escrow, where you could submit a warranty request. Here's the emergency after hours phone number. So I have to do that after the closing. So after close of escrow, you'll get the web address. Mm -hmm. And if you ever need to be able to submit a service request for something that say is defective and not working right, that's where you would submit the service request. So are they going to email me for that? They will. The submit? Okay. They will after close of escrow. Okay. Right? Good questions. Good questions. Um, so just a few important things to go over for the warranty. Plumbing, we take care of drain blockages within the first 30 days. After that, we ask homeowners to be able to call a plumber. If they find anything construction related, then we take care of it, like a construction defect, the drain, some construction material blocking the drain, then we take care of it for them and reimburse for any plumber that you would have paid for, okay? Also talks about some things to be careful to not put down the drains. I am personally guilty. My son uses disposable wipes. He is spoiled. <laughs> and uh, I know I shouldn't be doing that, but I have installed a special toilet too, with extra pressure assisted toilet too, just for that. Appliances. So you have a direct warranty direct warranty with the manufacturer when it comes to appliances. So in that drawer, just to the right or of the stove, is where all the appliance manuals are. Okay. The phone number for the warranty is in there. If you ever need help with that, let me know. They will ask you for the model number and serial number, and you can also register your appliances on their website when you move in. Okay, they'll ask for your name, address, telephone, model number, serial number, and your close of escrow date to be able to register. The serial numbers inside the appliance doors as you open them up, they're on the inside edges of all the appliances. So I think all the way to the left on the hinge, yes. There'll be one inside the stove and one inside the dishwasher too. As well. We do not put any pesticides inside your house. Over here, okay? It's recommended with all new homes that you be able to treat for pests like ants and spiders and things like that. Especially in the summertime, I think that's when I see the most ants in Copper Hill, but I think in the beginning it's there are more, and then as people start to treat their homes and their neighbors, you kind of get herd immunity for pests, more or less, and it drives them out. Mm -hmm. But we recommend. You don't have to use this company, but this company also pre-tubed the inside of your exterior walls. Oh, for, for bugs. Correct. So, but they're the only ones that can spray it inside the portal, inside the walls. I think because of that, they're the most expensive option too, because they know they're the only ones that can do that. Mm -hmm. And there are other companies that many neighbors have said good things about, like Hydrex and Clark Pest Control. Garbage disposal, Jeff. Minerva, have you ever jammed your garbage disposal where something fell in there and yeah. it got caught and jammed? Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the little tool? Yeah. It's in That's that right. top drawer too as well. Perfect. And are you familiar with the reset button on the bottom? Sometimes it trips and pops out about a quarter of an inch. It's a red button on the bottom of the disposal. Sometimes after you unjam it, if you see there's no electricity, mm -hmm. look for the reset button so you could push the reset button underneath on the bottom of the garbage disposal. Okay. Okay. If you ever need help with that in the first year, I usually come by, kind of give a lesson on it and how to be able to do it if it happens. It's hard to show unless it actually happened mm -hmm. and what to be able to do. Whirlpool oven, the first time you use your oven and bake something, there's some factory oils, brand new oven. It might smoke up a little bit, completely normal. Mm -hmm. You might open up some windows and let it run for like 15, 20 minutes before you put any food in there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that you can not have that flavor in your food there. Mm -hmm. 
when you if you use your self-cleaning oven have, have you ever used self-cleaning on your other ovens and other homes i never use mine okay the temperature gets really hot so for safety reasons we say look at the manual make sure you look at the instructions before you use it and i recommend if you ever use it because these cabinets are not painted the thermal foils it is a thermally foiled PVC coating on a, a molded door. So I always say, even though we put this metal trim, mm -hmm. it's called a heat deflector. It helps to be able to protect the edges. Make sure some, if you use the self-cleaning oven, I, I highly recommend to open up all your drawers. Mm -hmm. A safe distance so it's not too weak because it's always most vulnerable out here versus up here. So that doesn't happen, but the heat deflectors should help because the heat could cause the glue to loosen up and then be laminated, especially on adjacent to the stove. Mm -hmm. Your dishwasher has a filter inside of it that we recommend to be able to visually inspect at least monthly. So let me demo where the filter is. Pull the tray out. You'll see this little basket filter here. It's one of two of the filters. You twist like you're loosening, you can pull it out. And this is two and two of the larger particle items inside of there. And you just rinse it out in the sink. You can use an old toothbrush or a brush of some sort for the fine mesh on the other filter. So there's a few things I say I recommend for the dishwashers out here based on homeowners input of the 155 homes out here. One is that your dishes will get more clean if you bring hot water to the island before you start the dishwasher. And how do you do that? You rinse a few dishes with hot water. And two, that you use your garbage disposal, turn it on, let it clear out before you use your dishwasher as well because all dishwashers are pumping water into the garbage disposal and you want the drain to be clear in the garbage disposal and not water to start back filling up because eventually the weight of the water will cause that pumped water out of the dishwasher mm -hmm. to find the path of least resistance and may come out of here instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are the three things. Bring hot water to the island before you use it. Use your garbage disposal before you run the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. And check your filter periodically. Now, you have all water savings faucets as required by California. There's special faucets that manufacturers have to make just for California. Mm -hmm. Lead reasons and for water reasons too as well. My faucets at home take three times as long. Oh, excuse me. My faucets at home have three times more water. They use three times more water than yours. So the less water that comes out of here, the longer it takes for water to travel through the pipes to get to the destination, right? So we expect, I know that this is the longest time it takes for water to get to a fixture because it goes back through the concrete slab. It's the only water pipe that goes back through the concrete slab and up to the fixture. 